short stories and one act plays have carried the day and the thousand page romance stories are shunned by all it is ample proof of the fact that people look for crisp and pithy saying and have no patience for repetition and circumlocution beckin and pope are still enjoy the world over while spencer and milton are read only by scholars brevity brings out exactness aptness and appropriateness long winding speeches often tax the public nerve and create monotony polemics are dreaded and more matter with less art is often the cry a few well chosen words prove more effective than long winded and rhetorical speeches unusually long sentences cannot draw and retain one's attention while we are charmed by short pithy effective sentences compression of thought is an art that can bring laurels and win public applause carry the day is an idiom it means to be victorious or successful for example the advertisement of pepsi carried the day over the internet the next idiom is tax one's nerve that simply means burden working at a stretch for 6 hours taxes my nerve or classical movies of 80s tax my nerve so i can't watch them the next idiom is bring laurels that simply means to bring honor arin tagore received nobel prize for literature in 1930 and brought laurels for a country there's two collocations in the passage the first one is long winded it is formed by adding two adjective long winded that simply means breathless for example long winded speech delivered by the head boy wasted my precious time next collocation is formed by adding two nouns compression and thought and that simply means witty in presentation the compression of thought added layers of meaning to the speech shun is a verb that simply means to avoid wise men love humor and wit whereas fool shun it the next word is winding it is an adjective and it means indirect we can use it with expressions his winding expression annoyed the listeners the next crunchy word is monotony that simply means boredom it is a noun so it should be used as a noun do something interesting to remove the monotony of daily life the next word is an adjective the word is rhetorical that simply means bombastic his oration was full of rhetorical questions the next word is a noun applause applause simply means to praise and it can be used as a noun like appraisal the audience gave a round of applause for his magical performance aptness is a noun that simply means exactness his essay was marked by aptness the next word is circumlocution it is a noun and it means long and complicated way please avoid circumlocution in your writing the next word is ample it is an adjective and it simply means big or sufficient there is an ample demand of this product in the market pithy is an adjective and it means to the point short and pithy saying became popular in 17th century and the last word is brevity it simply means shortness it is a noun the president made his point with 
प्रेज वर दी ब्रेविटी